So this is my Alienware Alpha. It turns on, I get a blue light, and then it starts flashing yellow. So that's a code right there. See how it's flashing and it stops? So we're gonna count the flashes. One, two, three, four, five, and it pauses. That is a code for something. We're gonna find out and Google it. And right here, the power is lit blue. We're gonna check the voltage on that and see if we're getting proper voltage. That's the output voltage. So we're gonna read this right here and we'll see. We got a reading of 19.7 and it's steady. So that's good. All right, so I looked it up on Dell support page and that five flashing lights means that there's something wrong with the CMOS battery. And it says to unplug the CMOS battery for about 10 minutes and plug it back in to reset in the BIOS. And then you go into BIOS save and exit and it temporarily will fix it. Or you could replace the CMOS battery but be sure to unplug it for at least 20 minutes. And people say that is a better solution. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna replace the CMOS battery, but we're gonna unplug the battery and wait 20 minutes so everything's fully reset properly. And there's four screws right here. We have to remove. So I'm just using a standard Phillips screwdriver. This right here, I believe we just remove this. Sometimes you have to pry it open using a guitar pick. So keep that in mind. And this comes right off. So you take the top and the bottom off. And then you squeeze these tabs and remove that. There we go. You don't have to unplug them, but you do have to remove them because there's some screws you gotta get to. There's two screws in the middle. Use a micro Phillips screwdriver to remove the middle screws. Okay. Right here. So one, two, next to the RAM. Since you have this all open, you can upgrade your RAM if you want to. I have a eight gig RAM stick right here. Another eight gig memory right here, totaling 16. It's a DDR3. I use crucial. We have to remove the other four screws on the outer edge. You use a regular Phillips screwdriver for that. And number three and cuatro. There we go. Oh, I can't remove it unless I remove these. getting there so now we should be able to remove this piece you have to pry it from the bottom it pops off and then it's still stuck oh oh my god if you got to take off this piece the hard drive almost broke the motherboard there we go and then this should slide yeah it says Push this way to remove. There we go. Whew. Yeah, make sure you unplug that or else you'll damage your motherboard or the hard drive connection. But there are some wires connected, so make sure you don't remove it completely. All right, so here is the battery. You just squeeze the sides right here and then pull that out. You wanna make sure, don't plug anything in for another 20 minutes and then this peels right off and it should read three volts let's go ahead and read it and see if it's actually bad look at that yeah the battery's definitely dead it should be three volts it's reading 0 0.1 volts so that's why we're getting the five flashing lights let's go ahead and replace it now all right and i peeled off the film 
So I should be able to stick right on right here in this spot. Yeah, it feels good. And might as well read that while it's out. It's reading 3.3 volts DC. So that's definitely good. The battery is available on Amazon. CR2032. Wait 20 minutes before you plug in the new battery. It only plugs in one way. There we go. Make sure when you put the USB connections in, it goes underneath the silver tabs. It slides down flush. Make sure everything sits in flush. This goes right over there and then slides down into place. And this locks in right here. And then let's go ahead and put the rest of the screws in. These middle screws. These are ground screws. So make sure they're snug. Don't over tighten them because you can crack the motherboard. There we go. All right, so that back plate is on. Now, if you're interested how to remove the RAM or memory, you just pull these silver tabs out and they slide in and out pretty easily. So they go in kind of in a angle and then make sure they sit flush. And then you push down, they should automatically snap into place. If they don't, then you don't have it in properly. Make sure they sit in flush. You shouldn't see any copper. You should be able to see only the green. And that's how you replace the RAM from memory. All right, and then this right here, make sure that is secure. And this right here should snap on. Pretty flush. And then, yep, that's secure. Make sure all the plugs are sitting properly in. Just double check your work. Make sure you don't have any screws left over, like I usually do. All right, there we go. Put the cover on and test it out. Put the old battery in here. All right, test it out. Next, go ahead and plug everything in. Press the power button and at boot up, press and hold F12 or F2, one of them. And then you enter the BIOS and the only thing you have to do is save and then reset. Click on yes. All right, so everything is running smooth. And I have it working in my virtual pinball machine. Check it out, it looks fantastic. This is the Legends Pinball. And it, it, it actually works great on the Legends Pinball. These are the connections right here, HDMI and USB for controlling the buttons. Looks good.